happening gang it's your boy retro back again with another reaction video yeah yeah uh today we've got ourselves a good one um this one is the funniest trump can't win a compilation um this one was from the 2016 presidential election well the months leading up to the election uh, where there was kind of like this pandemonium sparked uh, if you guys remember from the Democrats and the left saying that if Trump was elected, um, doomsday was ahead of us, the world would end, and everyone was like freaking out. Um, I feel like this one's a special one for us because Trump's running again, and you know, you know, you know, um, in the months coming, um, definitely you're going to be seeing this again where it's repeating Trump cannot get elected. He's going to do very, very bad things again. You know what I'm saying? He never did anything bad to begin with. So I'm excited to see uh, what they were saying back then and we can compare it to back here. What's going to happen in the future? Uh, make sure you guys uh, like this video. Subscribe to the channel on the road to 10K, y'all. Let's hop straight into it. He's not going to be the nominee, Chuck. I mean, as you know, I'm ahead in Ohio. <laughs> so, Jenny. Could he actually win? No freaking way! <laughs> he will be tempted to run, be predictably shellacked. Do not tell me that Donald Trump is in this to win this, okay? He's a sideshow. This is going to turn a three-ring circus into a freak show. He's not running for president. He's running for keep me famous. I thought this was maybe some strategy for a new reality show. How should Republicans handle Donald Trump? Uh, ignore him. And Donald Trump is not going to be the nominee of this party. Well, I don't think it's likely that Donald Trump will be the nominee. Well, I, I do, based on your theme, believe that he's here to stay for a while, maybe through a few primaries, but he is not going to be the nominee. Well, I'm going to support the Republican nominee, and I'm comfortable that it's not going to be Donald Trump. There's not going to be a President Donald Trump. <laughs> um, that's not going to happen. Donald Dang. Trump will not become president! He's not oh, going to be president. Bernie Sanders. He is not, Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Take it to the bank. Okay. I guarantee it. All right. All right. You think if he becomes the president here, make, make it great because the states is already gone. I think that man will be president of the United States right about the time that spaceships no, come down no, filled with dinosaurs and red capes. On that note, Tom. <laughs> Bro, Take it from me. How about that? Here's some. Oh and oh then, of course, gosh. there's Donald Trump. Donald Trump has been saying that he will run for president as a Republican, which is surprising since I just assumed he was running as a joke. <laughs> Donald Trump, just last week, he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. <laughs> do, do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. So when you stand and deliver that State of the Union address, in no part of your mind or brain can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? Well, I can imagine it uh, in a Saturday night skit. I continue to believe Mr. Trump will not be president. He will never be president of the United States. And uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Next okay, here we are. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. And so, right now, Mr. Trump, to answer your call for political honesty, I just want to say, you're not going to be president, all right? But, but, but come on, come on, buddy. All, let's say, cow poo poo aside. There is zero chance we'll be seeing you being sworn in on the Capitol steps with your hand on a giant golden Bible. I'll make a prediction, though, for you. I, I don't really get into predictions much, but this one I'll go way out on a limb. Donald Trump will never, ever be president okay. of the United States. I gotta... The Trump should not be in this race. He's an absurdity. He is a travesty. Donald Trump will never be elected president of the United States. Donald Trump is a here today, gone tomorrow candidate for president of the United Nancy States. Nancy Pelosi. Donald yeah. Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Uh, ever respectful of the fact that the people have not voted, he's not going to be president of the United States. Let's be clear. 
Donald Trump will lose the election. I mean, he had a really good chance to be different and really have a chance to change things, but yeah. he, he doesn't do the work. He's lazy. We talk about him every day and we continuously He's bash him. He's not going to be the president. He... Don't worry about it. <laughs> exactly. It's going to be a wake-up call to the Republican Party. Uh, despite Boris thinking that Donald Trump could win New York, like this, the, the presidential race is over. It just, just, could I just cut through? I have one thing to say, one thing only. And that is that this race is over. Tomorrow morning, the money will dry up. The Republicans will start to hide. Trump has no place to go. This race, effectively, as of tonight, is no longer a presidential race. I will get, I mean, everything I know about presidential politics, and I've been through five of them. I've never seen one like this. This race is over. You might as well accept it. And the question now is, how do you minimize damage? And the only way you can do that, it seems to me, is to try to grab hold of some old conservative value things and do what Mondale did in 84, which is try to save a few people down ballot. But as far as Donald Trump's concerned, it will never, ever, ever happen. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States, exclamation point, at real Donald Trump. <laughs> well, at real Donald Trump, at least I will go down as a president. Our new NBC News survey Dang. monkey poll is out today. It puts Hillary Clinton up by 10 points over Donald Trump. And this is not the first poll since the conventions to give Clinton a double digit lead. This is actually the fourth, four polls that have Clinton up by more than 10 points or at least 10 points. Dane, the kind of lead she has leaped out into, in, into this race. You could see other states that suddenly get crazy. States you wouldn't have even imagined, like a South Carolina, Dang. even a Texas, they could at least become competitive. And what it would mean, doesn't mean Hillary Clinton's gonna win all of these. It means we could have more competitive states than we ever imagined. That's the way to lay of the land right now at this low moment for Donald Trump. We'll be back right after this. We are back with David Undo P. Pluff, the man who says Hillary Clinton has a 100% chance of winning. So that means that, means that no scenario that we could lay out to get Donald Trump to 270 electoral votes is something he would buy. So we thought we'd get David in here to look at those scenarios that the Republicans are talking about, citing them as a potential path to victory, and explain to us why they are not just implausible, but impossible. And if you look at Wisconsin, the poll came out wow. yesterday. Yeah. She's up six points. She's up four points in our polling in Pennsylvania. If she keeps those together, all she needs is New Hampshire, and she puts the race away, and she's up there. Well, so for again, them to, that's the whole Colorado. I mean, for them to yeah, look at fortune, uh, to and it is true, fortune favors the bold. Yeah. If the Comey bomb didn't get them where well, they that's, need that's to the be, I mean, that really is the question, right? It's um, it'll be interesting uh, tomorrow night. I think when Hillary Clinton. Uh, wins that Donald Trump will have lost this election from the very first day he announced. If the numbers bear out what we're seeing thus far, Hillary Clinton will win Florida. And w the delicious irony in this is that Donald Trump will have been kept from the White House by a big, beautiful brown wall. And CNN projects Donald <laughs> Trump will carry the state of Florida, Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, Oklahoma, <laughs> Tennessee, Mississippi, South Carolina, Alabama, Kansas with its six electoral votes, Nebraska with its five electoral votes, and Wyoming with its three electoral votes, North Dakota uh, with its three electoral votes, and South Dakota, Texas, Arkansas, he has now taken the lead. Donald Trump has 128 electoral votes. Louisiana, the state of Montana, Missouri, Ohio. He has 167 electoral votes compared to Hillary Clinton's. Yo, I knew they would eat their words. Oh my goodness. Some people said hilarious, impossible, it could never happen. Bro, the numbers are speaking for themselves. This is so funny to watch. Oh my goodness. Yo, let's hop straight back into it, y'all. 109 Idaho, North Carolina, Georgia, Iowa, Utah, Wisconsin, Arizona. Uh, but we should really just take a moment here and look at this. Holster has predicted that Hillary Clinton was going to have not just a victory, uh, but that she was going to win sub, uh, an electoral landslide. Not only is that not happening, it is entirely possible that Donald Trump is truly redrawing the map the way that he said he was going to. It was Donald Trump versus almost all the experts. And as of right now, it looks like Donald Trump 
was right. Donald Trump has defeated Hillary Clinton to become president-elect of the United States. Sorry to keep you waiting. Complicated business. Complicated. <laughs> this is not the outcome we wanted or we worked so hard for. And I'm sorry that we did not win this election. I love this country. <laughs> The shockwave from Donald Trump's victory continued to be felt across America and around the world. Donald Trump wird der 45. Élu Donald Trump, président de l'élect Donald Trump. Everyone was wrong. The backlash begins. Some magazines are facing big embarrassments today. Newsweek had already shipped out this cover, Madam Secretary, but quickly had to change it to this, President Trump. Please Dang. raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. I, Donald John Trump, do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. The office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability. And will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Egg on all their faces. Yes. <laughs> Yo, guys, that was actually comedy to sit through just watching everyone was so confident nancy pelosi um cnn anchor was so they were so confident the view you know the view the view was so excited to you know pray on someone's downfall everyone was like it could never happen it's impossible it's a joke i don't even know why he's running wasting everyone's time wasting resources there could be an actual candidate in his spot and he actually won through egg all over those people's faces. Oh my goodness. I bet it felt so sweet. I felt it felt it felt so sweet to be him and finally get in there and like just his I feel like his whole like nomination or election speech and like just what he was saying when he first got elected into office was all just a mock he was just mocking everyone that doubted him, all the naysayers. Come on now. And it's funny to think that there will be tons more of these compilations. Trump can't win compilations. People saying why he can't win, why he won't win. Come in here for the 2024 uh, election. I'm excited to see him too, man. I bet they'll be just as funny. Yo, make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel with the 10K, y'all. I'll catch y'all next week. Baker, Baker.